name is Sally Bradshaw. I am 56 years old. I am a mother of four children. We need to get the chop saw down and the saw horses. And I have been in the building industry for 30 years. Is this what goes on in Utah? When we're all working together, it's quite interesting. Complete winging it is all that happens. <laughs> it's winging a prayer, maybe. It makes a very interesting dynamic when it comes to us working together. It uh, can get very um, exciting. I said I was a professional. Yeah, I never said I was a professional. No, yet. that oh, is, believe me. we and, can tell. And you know what the problem is, is he won't listen to a dang thing. One is a very large optimist and thinks that he can conquer everything. When you guys come here, my house is finished, you are not allowed on my deck. <laughs> don't come on my deck, because you're not going to enjoy it the way I am. Kids sometimes, he's learning more and more, but he is so much of a go, go, go optimist that I have to kind of rein him back a little bit. It's been nice to, to do a lot of things on the home, even though it's a time crunch and, and overwhelming at times, but you know, it, it's been a good learning experience for me. The other is very headstrong on how he wants to do it his way. <laughs> okay. I like to just sit around and watch okay. these two no, no. work all the time. Everyone seems to think they know um, knows everything and want to control everything. You know what the problem is, is he won't listen to a dang thing mom says. So we kind of block her out is actually what happens when she starts talking and we're on a job site with her. This is probably hard to work with. Okay, we're arguing again, and we have now 45 <laughs> minutes. We need the support. So my mom's not hard to work with. She's fun to work with. Uh, she uh, is very particular on how things get done. If, she, if it's not done the way that she wants it done, then we have to do it all over again. Uh, the lumber company should be shot here. First of all, you're supposed to load it up with the four joists bundled up. They set them on the ground instead of putting them on top of all of this lumber that we need to use first. We will knock heads sometimes. It's well, like, okay, well, hold it. Hold he keeps hold telling hold me I'm a pessimist instead of an optimist. She is no, a pessimist. No. She is a pessimist. She's a, real, she's a realist. Well, the problem is she's not a real thing just happened. It doesn't, Look, it doesn't no, work no, that there's way. There's many times I've done something and it's like, just because I did it one way does not mean it's the wrong way. It's not Sally's way, so there should be a real problem with it. But uh, I agree with that. No, yeah. I am not always right. And that they are the ones that need to be patient with mom since she thinks she is. Just because she wants it done away, the way that she wants to do it doesn't mean it's the correct way. And then I step back and go, wait a second, they know what they're doing and just let them do what they know best. When working with my brothers on the job site, it gets pretty, uh, you could say, hectic. Oh, I need a level! I need a level! Drone out! I lost my wallet. Yeah, I had to pay for the car. I don't know where my wallet is. I went to hospital this morning and now it's gone. She, you know, is all about work. Doing too, though, is I need to show the different utilities that are run to a home, a new home. Oh, no, he didn't explain it. It's your mess. He, he picked up a fireplace for $25. That's why we're doing this. From where? KSL, man. Oh, KSL. It's a work for you, man. A work for you. So that's why we're doing the back patio. Oh, my God. You know, at times my mom has said that I don't really have the detail, the, the eye for the detail like her and Craig do. What I would do with the gas fireplace is I would move it, cantilever it out probably a foot on the outside wall there. Okay. It takes uh, some of the space away from the living room the way it is right now. So okay. in doing that, it'll you know still give a dimension, yeah. but it will definitely give you more space in here. Um, I would have to disagree with that fully. So, yeah, I think we just like to have a good time with each other and, and yeah, I think it's, I think we love being brothers. I just got done tiling, all right? My fingers have been oh, really dirty. I, I brought you a pair of gloves. Ugh. And hot. a nasty pad. They're very competitive boys. They, uh, they always want to win. <laughs> oh, you guys are ridiculous. Well, you're, you're gonna knock that one up if you're not careful. In the way when you're trying to work. No, it's okay. not. It's no, right here, right. honey. Okay. I'm married to Sally Bradshaw, and uh, we've been married for uh, slightly more than two years. I have a very interesting marriage at this time. Uh, my husband is uh, out traveling all over the world. I'm not a professional, but I play one on TV. <laughs> I, they, they really, the two of them, they really mesh really well together as far as I can see. I travel all over the world and I'm actually seldom home. 
and uh, so this is this whole building space is really foreign to me. My husband is so busy in his profession that he enjoys and loves what he's doing, so it works very well for my marriage. She's asked me to come help her from time to time, but frankly, I just a don't know what I'm doing when I'm on a job site, and b don't want to do it. Ugh, I think I broke a nail. Right here. <laughs> And my mom has really grown from him being around and that kind of thing. So people ask, how do we keep our marriage strong when Sally is the builder, she's the worker, she's out there by the sweat of her brow? I'm a very independent person, so that works very well for me. The, the fact is, is when we're together, we are together. Only thing I've been surprised about him and my mom together is that she's so hands-on construction and she usually has her spouse kind of help with that. Looks like you're working hard, Drew. Yeah, I am. I, however, do not like getting dirty, so there's a slight uh, uh, conflict there. Yeah, he's not much for um, he's not much for construction. He he enjoys uh, the more foofy stuff. <laughs> you know, sometimes she asks me for an extra set of hands, but when she does, I usually look for uh, loves because I don't want to ruin my manicure. <laughs> The work is finished. <laughs> he does a full day of work and it's just absolutely amazing to watch what she does. She has built entire communities. I always looked up to, to my mom and now that I have the same ideas that she does, it makes me feel like I've learned and I've, you know, progressed and, and getting better at what I do. She is that juggernaut that we always read about. She's just work, go, 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 go. And um, you know, that's how she always lands at the top. She can do anything, and that's amazing. And that's a testament to what women can do if they want to. It has been an interesting ride for me, and I enjoy what I do, and I just want to let women in the world know that, you know what, you can do anything you set your mind to. Whether it's a man's profession, and that solely the men are running this profession, you can still do what you want in any profession out there. We as women need to stand beside each other and fight for what we know is what we enjoy.